Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is why including energy training will boost your body power and any other aspect of your life. So if you're not familiar with the idea of energy training, I'm going to give you some hints about what this is. Okay, when you do some physical training, very often you are going to focus on the physical body, right? You are going to focus on the muscles, on the flexibility, on the agility and so on, on the physical health. But what happens is that we have an energy body and this energy body is sometimes called the auric field, it's the electromagnetic field, it's all this set of meridians that are activated through Chinese medicine, through acupuncture, we call it the etheric body as well, and it's the subtle layer of our physical body. It means that every single cell inside of us has an electromagnetic vibration. We are made of atoms, right? The, the appearance of the physical body is actually an illusion because I'm 99.99% um, .99 empty, okay? What you see here is just a vibration that is actually made of lots of emptiness. So this etheric body or this space that we have inside of us, we can consciously start working with it and activating it in a very conscious way. And if you want to remember a simple term and don't go too much into woo-woo concepts, just think about an electromagnetic vibration. If we go deeper into that, this electromagnetic vibration has consciousness, has intelligence, okay? But we are not going to go too far into that. The first step is really to be aware that you can consciously activate your electromagnetic field and clear whatever might be stacked on that level. So how do you do that? Very simple, breathing, breathing techniques. This is why pranayama or breath mastery is such a core aspect of yoga training. How do you breathe? We can do a fire breath, for instance, and this is going to activate your uh, energy body. So what happens if you do that practice like for five minutes, you're going to notice that there is uh, an activation of, of your energy field that is happening very naturally. You will feel sensations going through your body, a clearing in your mind, maybe the emotional release in, in your body. And you can isolate the practice. It means that you can focus on an energy technique like breathing or saying mantras or shaking or another lineup of possible uh, you know, energy techniques, but we will we'll check more of these techniques. But the first thing to do or to understand is that you can really focus on the physical body or the energy body or do a combination of both. So I will, um, I will show you what it looks like when you do it purely physical or you really focus on the energy body. For instance, if I take, let me see, oh, here we go. See, right now I'm uh, doing some push-ups, right? Very simple. That's the physical practice. It's physically based. Now, if I want to add the energetic dimension to it, what I'm going to do is add the breathing and do something which is slightly more dynamic. Here's what it looks like. I breathe out, breathe in. I just shift it now to uh, energy and muscle in combination, training of both. You can do that simple movement, you can add variation. What's important with that 
is that what I did right now is that I'm adding the breath. So the breath is really changing the vibration of the intention of the practice. And this is, this is very powerful, okay? Um, so this is the distinction between physical training and energy training. And you can do the exact same thing with hundreds of possible variations in the exercises. You know, I could be in a squatting position like this one, right? And of course you can slow down, you can speed up, you have all these variations, but the main element is that there is some movement and there is some breath being added. So I call these movements Shakti Sanas. Shakti for energy and sanas for asana, which is a yoga pose. Another important thing to understand is that when you engage into energy training, there is going to be an emotional activation and uh, emotional freedom is being triggered. Why? Because the energy body is the place where emotions, thoughts get stacked. Okay. If you have a traumatic experience, it hits your body, your energy body, and it stays there as a crystalless vibration. Sometimes you feel some, you know, oppression on your throat, or you feel something in your solar plexus right here, some form of tension that you find is difficult to digest. So when you tap into energy techniques, what's going to happen is that you start releasing emotions, releasing tensions, releasing uh, frames, patterns that no longer serve you, and you create what we call emotional freedom, which frees basically energy inside your system so that you can engage with that energy into whatever you want to do in, uh, in your life and in your day. So my advice is really to have a set of energy techniques that you're practicing every day, maybe 10, 15 minutes a day if you can. If you can go for longer practice and you really have the time, then that's great. But starting with even five minutes every day, you get it part of your practice, part of your day, and then eventually you start building up more power and energy. Um, if you check my channel, right, vitalcoaching.com or my YouTube channel, where you're maybe watching this video, uh, lots of videos on this topic, check the playlists. I, uh, it's one of my favorite topics because I think it's one of the things that can make a massive change in your life. Be inspired and have lots of fun with that. I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.